from India to Bangladesh and the Philippines, people, animals, and crops are suffering under a sweltering heat wave. Climate experts attribute the excessive heat to climate change and the impact of a powerful El Nino in the Western Pacific. Petch Manipawit is a Thai conservation scientist. For the climate change model, it's already shown that we are uh, increasingly the average temperature year after year, right? So normally uh, this year beating the year before. But because of the uh, El Nino effect, that leaves particular region hotter than normal. Here's how it's affecting everyday life. Residents of eastern India experienced their hottest April on record. We are struggling because of the heat. Despite our efforts to keep cool by pouring water on ourselves and on the ground, nothing is working. We can feel steam rising from the ground. The country's weather department has predicted more heat wave days than normal between April and June. In the country's Kerala state, schools have closed. And elsewhere in India, the dry spells have caused frequent forest fires. In neighboring Bangladesh, these Rohingya refugees are trying to keep cool in any way they can. This heat is unbearable, especially in our tarp-made homes. During the daytime, it has been difficult to stay inside as the tarp soaks in the heat. Schools have been closed and authorities are warning of forest fires, heat stroke and dehydration. Local government workers in Manila, Philippines, rolled out a free mobile shower to help people through the heat wave. We are doing this program to help with the heat that our citizens are experiencing this dry season. Some people also experience water shortages and they cannot take a bath. So this program helps give free showers and alleviate the heat from this dry weather. Due to the heat and lack of rain, a receding dam here in the northern rice-producing province of Nueva Ecija has revealed the ruins of a centuries-old town. This farmer north of Manila says the rising temperatures have significantly affected his crops. When the heat is very extreme, we can't produce good quality fruits and vegetables. That is the effect of the heat. Farmers have to suffer a loss from low prices because of the poor quality. The country has also suspended classes and warned people to take shelter and avoid prolonged exposure outdoors due to the possibility of heat stroke. Schools in Cambodia's capital started to cut classes by a couple of hours to make the day more bearable for students. When the weather is so hot, it gives me a headache and I have difficulty staying to finish the class. Experts worry about what it will mean for education and test scores. South of Phnom Penh, at the Cambodian Wildlife Rescue Center, workers constructed a new water pond to keep their elephants cool. When I feel hot, I think of my elephant, too, because animals here are in the enclosure, not living in the wild. Animals living in the wild, they can run to find water, but these animals here are in the enclosure, so we must think of their needs of water. Conservation scientist Manipawit says the region's extreme heat is a bad sign of things to come. An inhabitable earth pattern is coming, you know, because we might not be familiar with that. We think that we are fine with the hot weather, but now with the, with the temperature, the heat wave, the intensity of the, the, the long period of hot weather, I think we will have to make sure that people know about the risk as well.